Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to fourth grade math tutoring. My name is Peter Felton, and I will be your tutor today. Let's check out some place value models. Take a look over here at the IXL model in front of you. So what number is shown? Each small cube represents one. So if we look at these small cubes here, there they are individually. But we also have some groups of cubes here. Each of these tall groups, if you will, contains 10 cubes. So we see a total of seven sets of 10 cubes. But let's take a look at these sets of cubes over here as well. So we have seven sets of 10 cubes separately here. We have two sets of 10 sets of 10 cubes each. So let me break it down for you. Here's a single cube, that's one. Here's a set of cubes, that's 10. Here is a whole group of 10 sets of 10 cubes. So let's do some math. What is 10 times 10? That's pretty easy, 100. So here we have one set of 100 and another set of 100, that makes 200. So 100 plus 100 is 200. 200 plus 10 is 210. Plus 10 to 20. Plus 10 to 30. Plus 10 to 40. Plus 10 to 50. Plus 10 to 60. And plus 10 to 70. Plus 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 270. All right, let's go to these place value models. So here we have two sets of one, and here we have six sets of 10. So let's do it the opposite this time. Instead of counting from the largest number to the smallest, let's count from the smallest number to the largest. So one, two, plus 10 is 12, plus 10 is 22, plus 10 is 32, plus 10 is 42, plus 10 is 52, and plus another 10 is 62. Now, over here, we've got seven sets of 100. So what is seven times 100? 700. 700 plus 60 is 760. And 760 plus two is 760. All right, here we have a slightly smaller size exercise, which may be welcome at times. All right, two sets of 100. 100 plus 100, or 100 times two, 200. Two sets of 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. 200 plus 20 is 220. Here, we have eight individual small cubes. So when we count them one by one, we get eight. So here we have 228. All right, now we've got a bit of a mixture here, but they are still grouped. Remember with place value, the ones column is written first on the far right. The tens column is written in the middle and the hundreds column is written on the left. You may have noticed that all of the answers to each of our exercises so far contain three digits in the final quantity, and we always type the hundreds column first because it appears on the far left, then the tens column in the middle for the number that it represents, and finally the ones column last on the far right, just to keep that in mind. Okay, so here we have six sets of 100. Six times 100 is 600. Here we have eight sets of 10. Six, uh, excuse me, eight times 10 is 80. And over here we have seven individual cubes. All right, 687. 600 plus 80 plus seven is six in the hundreds column, 80 in the tens column. 
seven in the ones column, and voila. All right. Now, ooh, check this out. This will be interesting. We've got a lot of numbers here and a lot of columns. But you know what? We're going to stop the lesson for now because we've reached the end of our time limit. I hope you gained some important information there. And I hope to speak with you very soon. Thank you very much. This is Peter Felton, signing out.